artificial intelligence from Google, um, Google DeepMind Alpha Zero won against Stockfish. Do you think this has an impact on chess analysis and preparation? Um, not currently. I don't know what Google's plans are like from a Grandmaster's point of view. Of course, it would be interesting if they released that engine or that algorithm for the public so we could use it. I've seen the games. The games were very spectacular and I'm sure for computer science or artificial intelligence it has some consequences, but I don't really know anything about that. But for chess itself, the thing is Stockfish is already so strong and for me, if the engine you're using is 3300 or 3700 or whatever it is. It doesn't make such a big difference, but the games were certainly impressive. Well, like I said, now, I mean, Lila is a main train, is, is a new trend and uh, one of the main um, computer programs we use. Uh, I mean, so, uh, elite players, but I think um, almost everyone is jumping on the bandwagon. Uh, there's also Fat Fritz, um coming uh, soon, which is based on the same uh, idea of uh, reinforced learning. So, yeah, definitely, I mean, this uh, AlphaZero um, engine took took us all by surprise um, because the news were announced uh, in London uh, where, during the London Chess Classic in which I was playing. Um, so yeah, but it was exciting at the same time. We, there were a lot of interesting chess ideas, new chess approach uh, that uh, started to show in uh, in our games, I think, uh, starting from early this year with Magnus, uh, coming up with uh, really quite a lot of strong ideas uh, that were most likely coming from, uh, from Lila or, or uh, similar stuff. Yeah, I quite liked the match. It was quite a brilliant match, actually. Watching a few of Alpha Zero's game was quite inspiring because it sacrificed a lot of material for very long-term compensation. Of course, you cannot beat a strong chess engine like Stockfish with just combinations or tactical, tactical stuff. So it had to sacrifice a long-term material often. And it understood the positions much better than Stockfish. And nowadays there's uh, this Lila Zero, which I was talking about, which is kind of a similar engine and it has similar advantages to this alpha zero and that's why i like using it i use it via clouds i mean chess based cloud usually or well, there are different clouds as far as i know yes i cannot say i'm surprised with this i remember more than 20 years ago i, th I already said that we only have to wait three years until computer is clearly better than the human okay then we had to wait a little bit more but still um Still, it was clear that computer was uh, stronger than human almost 20 years ago. So, so the only question remained how short we are from mathematical solution of chess. And now it seems that, okay, another step in the direction has been made because uh, probably these guys from DeepMind, they found a better algorithm for, uh, yeah, for uh, finding the right move. So, um, and, okay, it was, it was quite impressive. Uh, um, to see this, but still, okay, it's something so fresh that uh, hard to talk about seriously. Eh, about it seriously, so I'd better just limit myself to a joke that this showed, uh, this match showed how important self-learning is for all of us humans. <laughs> humans uh, first of all. <laughs> I don't really think so. That uh, of course it looks sensational, and uh, well, first of all, I actually uh, I don't have all the information about the match because still there were lots of rumors about uh, the setup and everything. And uh, well, obviously, uh, chess computers or chess programs are extremely strong, and uh, um, well, it's in, already it's it, it's impossible to fight them in a practical game. So people gave up this this ideas because back in years when Kasparov was still challenging the computer it was still quite some fight but but now it's not anymore so uh, of course now lots of people they would try to get uh, to get the software but uh, I don't really think that still you have to 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 come uh, and to help computer to uh, basically to come up with some, some ideas uh, so it's still I think it will be very difficult for whatsoever great uh, artificial intelligence to to grasp uh, perfectly the idea of of uh, dynamics and everything in chess so i think that uh, it's 
Oh well, so it's no no point to panic, and uh, I just I just think that it's basically a very very natural that computers are getting better and better, and uh, just uh, uh, well I think it's still still human game, and uh, well once when when basically theoretically when uh, when computer will be able to calculate all the moves till the end, then of course then we will have to start to worry. Over 20 years ago, um, the, it was the first time that a conventional chess engine, IBM's Deep Blue defeated Gary Kasparov in a chess match. Did you follow the games of this match? And um, what was your impression? Oh, no, I didn't, didn't follow it back then. I, I have heard of the match, of course, but uh, <laughs> I was too young, young back then. Uh, but nowadays, chess engines have gotten much stronger even than, <laughs> than back then. Um, Yes, I mean, nowadays, I guess even Carson wouldn't have any chance against the, the modern chess engines. So uh, I believe Kasparov was quite disappointed to lose against uh, Deep Blue back then. Nowadays, the engines are so strong, it's, they are basically unbeatable for a human being. Well, there was barely any internet at the time. So, um, you know, also I was not yet seven years old. So I think like I was already playing chess. But uh, I'm not sure I saw the news live. Like maybe I, s I saw this a year later and uh, I looked at the games. Of course, they were they were fun. But um, you know, I was a kid. I was. Uh, I mean, I was moving pieces, but I definitely didn't have the level to understand uh, what had uh, happened quite clearly, but, uh, yeah, it was a milestone in terms of, in terms of computer chess and also in terms of, uh, how we, uh, turned out to judge, uh, computer, computers, um, and, uh, their thoughts, their thought process. I mean, if we can call it like this, uh, during a chess game.